Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna share with you guys today my what I eat in a day after breaking a fast recipe video. So this is the first time that I've actually done a five day fast. Before that, I used to only do the 16 hour intermittent fasting and I did do the 24 hour fast a couple of times unintentionally. I just happened to not eat the whole day and just only eat dinner. So I have done fasting, but I haven't done this longer fast before. So I haven't actually had to do the whole break of fast before. You usually do it just to help kickstart your digestive system again because it hasn't been digesting any food for a number of days. This is more important for longer fasts, I think. It can be helpful if you do intermittent fasting though, if your body's still getting used to it, or if you find that your digestive system is just struggling after you come back onto a fast, this can be helpful to just have certain meals, certain foods to help you feeling good again. Sometimes people feel sick after coming off a fast. Maybe you're eating too much, or you're eating certain foods that just aren't being received by the body well after a fast so this can help a five-day fast you may find that you're fine going back to eating your normal meals that you did before because it hasn't been such a long period of time but if you do say like a 20 day fast or a 10 day fast or even a 30 day fast you may find that your body takes a bit longer to kind of kick into gear so this can be helpful just to help with that <laughs> anywho so what they recommended in terms of what to have when you come back on to eating from a fast is having lots of fibrous foods so raw vegetables even cooked vegetables I'll be doing a bit of both today so I'll be sharing both a raw vegetable meal and a cooked vegetable meal now because I am coming back from a fast I won't actually need to eat that much like in my mind I'm thinking I could eat a whole horse <laughs> not really I think I could eat a lot more than I might actually be able to do just because my stomach will have shrunk throughout the five days of not eating so I'm gonna start off really slowly so I'm gonna have like a hundred grams of food like my meal and then just wait 20 minutes and then if I'm still hungry have a little bit more and then again wait another 20 minutes just to see how much I can actually take rather than stuffing my face full of like this whole meal and finding I feel really sick afterwards because it's just too much food so you may find that just having little bits of your meal to start with is a good idea so you don't overdo it so with that I'm gonna share with you guys my two meals I'll be making today so the first one is from this greens book by Peter Evans eat your greens <laughs> I love this book it's got some good keto recipes in there too if you guys want to check it out so I'm going to be making the whole roasted broccoli with tahini dressing this is what it looks like it just looks fabulous yum and I'm also going to be making a summer salad from the keto simple book that I shared in my vegan keto video when I went keto for a month just this one here that was one of my favorite recipes I had when I was doing that keto vegan for a month and I go back to it so often I just love this one and it's a great raw vegetable one to have because the dressing just makes it oh, so good I think any salad with a good dressing tastes phenomenal so those are the two recipes I'll be making today so let's get started To begin with you want to preheat the oven to 160 degrees celsius or if you have a fan forced oven it should be 140 degrees celsius. Then remove any leaves and cut away the stalk from the base of the broccoli. I popped it into the compost as a way to reduce waste. Then you want to rub the broccoli with some coconut oil and season with salt and pepper. Then place the broccoli into a casserole dish and then pour in the stock or water if you're using and cover it with a lid. I just used foil because I couldn't find a lid big enough to cover the whole broccoli. Then you're going to roast the broccoli for around 40 to 45 minutes or until the broccoli is tender which you can test it with a knife at the end to see how soft it is. You can add a little more water during this time if it starts to look too dry. Meanwhile while it's cooking to make the tahini dressing you want to combine the tahini, coconut yogurt, garlic, lemon juice and cumin in a bowl and then add in the warm water and mix well. Add more water if needed to make it a little more runny or use less if you want it to be more thick. Then season with some salt to taste. To serve, place the roasted broccoli on a serving dish and spoon on the tahini dressing and scatter over the pomegranate seeds and almonds and it's good to go.
If there are any fronds on the fennel bowl, reserve them for the dressing and garnish, then thinly slice the fennel, radishes and cucumber. As another option, you can just use a slicing blade on your food processor and this might just be a little bit quicker in preparing the vegetables. Then place the veggies in a large mixing bowl and you're going to make the dressing. To do this, mix all the dressing ingredients in a small bowl, then add the dressing to the sliced vegetables and mix to combine. If you have time, place the salad in the fridge for 30 to 60 minutes to allow the flavours to combine and oh my gosh it takes it to a whole new level so I totally recommend doing this. Then you can store it in the fridge for up to 3 days. The veggies will release their juices so the salad is always best when eaten fresh. And as a snack, I thought I'd have a little bit of dark chocolate, so maybe a block or two. This is one I have. It's from Loving Earth. It comes in a compostable packaging, but it's only compostable at commercial facilities, not really home composts. So this is what I have. It's the 85% dark chocolate, because that's one where it's just no dairy and also it's low sugar. I had it when I was on my keto diet and I really, really love it. I love the bitter taste of dark chocolate. So if I do feel snacky today, I just have my little bit of dark chocolate as like a little way to stop that. <laughs> so I'm just having little bits of different things. So I can't wait to get stuck into my food. I'm so, so, so excited. Oh, five days of no food really makes you appreciate when you can eat. And I was so lost for a time without cooking. Like cooking's like my go-to, my thing to pass the time, my therapeutic way to sort of relax, unwind. I just love preparing meals, thinking about what I'm going to make. So when I was not cooking, I was a bit lost. I must say, I was like, what do I do now? <laughs> Today's huge, huge, huge shout out goes to Spice Skillet and more. Thank you so much for commenting and watching my vegan vegetarian keto experience when I did that for a month. I'm so, so happy that you liked those lemon cakes my gosh they taste phenomenal and i just love anything lemon like oh magnifique. <laughs> thank you so much for sticking out this whole video with me i know it can be a long one sometimes and i just really really appreciate it i want to send my gratitude my love and my endless thanks <laughs> i love you so much guys and i hope to see you in my future videos